When we were kids, we thought that we could be anything. A child's mind is naturally optimistic, and I'm sure we've all been asked this question before. What do you want to be when you grow up? And you would answer truthfully, without doubting it at all. You would say things like, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a dancer, I want to be an astronaut. I, I wanted to be a bird, like I wanted to be an actual animal. See, a child strongly believes that anything is possible. But at some point you hear enough no's, you hear enough people saying, this is what you should do, this is what you shouldn't do. And as you grow older, you become increasingly aware of your environment and recognize perhaps you're not born into a country or a family where there's enough opportunity for you to pursue your goals and your dreams. Or maybe it's just simply too hard for you to pursue it. Maybe there's not enough time. Maybe it's not the right time. And as a result, we doubt ourselves. You see, doubt plagues everyone. And this video, it's made just for you. My name is Himmel, I'm a motivational speaker and coach, and here's how we can deal with self-doubt. By definition, self-doubt is lack of faith in our own ability. So I'm going to give you three different ways that you can use to help build faith in yourself and your ability. The first and probably the most simplest way that you can do this is by surrounding yourself with people that believe in you. If I had a subscriber for every single time that I doubted myself, I'd be as big as Casey Neistat or Mr. Beast. And as much as we doubt ourselves, the funny thing is, is that other people still believe in us. In my own opinion and experience, surrounding yourself with people that are positive and believe in you is probably one of the best things that you could ever do. Self-doubt is something that's going to be there. All right? Whenever we want to achieve something that's outside of our comfort zones, then immediately we're going to start questioning ourselves. But if we express our doubts and our concerns to people that are actually there to support us and genuinely believe in us, then you'll find that they'll believe in you, they'll support you, they'll guide you in the right direction. So it's really, really important that you do find people that are supporting you. And if you're close to my age, where you know, you've, you're know you done with high school, you're done with university, you actually find that your circle of friends actually get a lot smaller. And as concerning as that may be, what matters is, is if you have just a few, that's more than enough. So I strongly suggest find people and connect with people and build strong relationships with people that you know are gonna be there to support you, you know, in the highs and the lows. Now, the second thing that you can do to combat self-doubt is by using positive self-talk. Now, as cliche as it can sound and may be, think about it, cliches exist for a reason. How many times do you say, I can't during the day? And I'm not talking about the phrase itself, I can't. I'm talking about even the variations of it. I'm tired. I don't have the time. I don't have the experience, right? These are all variations of I can't. If we take the time to reflect and actually think about, you know, how many times we actually use negative self-talk, especially the I can't and variations of it, then we may come to realize that perhaps we use I can't maybe too many times throughout the day. And if you come to that realization, then that's great. Now you can then consciously change your thinking. Instead of saying, for example, I'm tired, you could say, I'm thriving and full of energy. You may not believe it at first, but if you repeat it to yourself a number of times, and the more consistently you say it over the number of days, you'll find that you know, you'll feel a lot more full of energy. I personally remember when I was going through like depression and anxiety, my self-talk wasn't the best. It was like, man, why did I wake up this morning? This is the most frustrating thing ever. I can't do this. I'm too tired, All right? I hate the world. I hate everyone. And as your mind, so the world. For a long time, my thoughts and my beliefs were so negative. And if your mind is negative, the world will be negative for you. If your mind is positive, the world will be positive for you. So you can consciously make that shift and start thinking about all the good things that you have and all the good things that you can do. And if you're one of those people that feel like, you know, you, there's nothing good about you, and there's nothing good about your skills and your talents, then work on developing it, right? There's, not, there's nothing stopping you from eventually building up to those things. The third technique that you can use is kind of on the second one, but I want to take it from a different angle, is self-awareness. See, doubt can teach you a lot of things, and if you reflect on it well enough, then you can see which doubts are actually valid and which ones are invalid. 
And for the ones that are valid, that can make you think about whether or not your abilities match up to whatever it is that you wanna achieve. So for example, you wanna get like an A or you wanna get like a promotion. That may creep in and be like, an A, Oof. are you sure? A promotion, hmm, I don't know, I don't know about that one. That can maybe show you that, oh, okay, cool, the thing that you're trying to achieve is actually quite a big feat. And maybe your ability right now, it may not be up to the standard. So what do you have to do to take it up to that standard? You gotta study more, right? You gotta study more effectively. Oh, you know what? You gotta do more than just a bare minimum at work so you can actually be worthy of that promotion. That can teach you a lot of things. Now for the doubts that are invalid, think about it. Like if you're a student and you wanna get a really good grade, but you are unsure whether or not you are going to get it, have you achieved a really good grade in the past before? If the answer is yes, then if you've done it before, then you can do it again. If the answer is no, then why don't you try anyway and find out? How do you know for sure you're going to fail if you don't even try? So the thing is, doubt can be there, but you can still try and you can still put in effort. So give it a go, give it your best shot. Completely, and I mean like completely eradicating self-doubt, this thought, this belief that I'm not good enough. Right? Completely eradicating that seems like a lifelong journey. And maybe for some of us it is, and it's a tough one. But if we constantly think and repeat to ourselves, you know, I'm good enough, and we constantly take actions to prove that we can achieve success, we can do things, and if we do that enough times, maybe we'll get to the point where we're not only just thinking it and saying it, but we actually deep down inside genuinely and sincerely believe it. Now, before you leave, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you know when the next video comes out and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on it, on the thoughts on self-doubt. I'd love to hear about it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Your support genuinely means so much to me. And wherever you are in the world, have a good day, night, afternoon. And I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.